Hey guys, so today I will be doing a mains and collections video for the end of 2016. So this is my current 2x2 main. It's the Shangshao 2x2. And I had a Ling Po, but I can't find it somewhere in the house and I cannot find it. So this is what I'm stuck with. I also have another Shangshao 2x2, but this one's for new model, so I like this one better. I started turning on this. It has about that much corner cutting. Only a tiny bit of reverse. That's pretty fast. Yeah, now this is, believe it or not, it's a Rubik's brand that I re-stickered with stickers I cut myself out of pieces of vinyl, so it doesn't look that good. Corner cutting, almost 45. And it's pretty fast. It has this horrible like, catching thing that don't actually affect the turning, but it's really loud because of all its catching and hollowness to it. And then it also has quite a bit of reverse corner cutting. When I modded it, if you can see that, I rounded it off right there, but not at the tip, so that it reverse corner cuts well, but does not corner twist. And this was my first cube. So this is my second free referee. It's the YJ Yulong. And this cube's very, very fast. I really like it. And it has this kind of creamy, buttery feeling, kind of crunchiness to it that I really like about it. And this was my first ever speed cube. And the stickers are pretty bad because, oh, I just realized it is missing a sticker. So who knows when that sticker's been missing. Um, the corner cut's just over 45, and it has a decent amount of reverse back cutting as well. Now this is my feet main because it is very stable, and it can rely that it won't corner twist or pop. So this is another cube I got. It is the Whitney and Oscar Van Daventure mix-up. It's fully functional, which is really cool. So it's a fun puzzle to solve. It's one of my favorite cubes, if not my favorite. Next we have the Kong's Design Mei Ying. I will be getting sticker for it and restickering it because if you can see on the blue side, the stickers are beginning to chip. It cuts way over 45, almost a full piece reverse. And I super tighten the tensions and now it's rather stable. It's a lot less flexible than it was when I started to review which I like it in this condition better. And it is my current main. I also have two of these unbranded picture cubes. This one turns really badly. I've only solved it, I think, once. This one I did like 10 solves on. And then I lubed it. And now it's super loose and fast. It still doesn't corner cut very much. But it, it's okay. So this is a mini Cyclone Boys free referee. I got it at the same time I got my Chi Yi Square One. And it's decent. It corner cuts about a piece for normal. That much. And then a little, like, barely anything for reverse. So here we have World's Smallest Rubik's Cube. Even though it's not the World's Smallest. World's Smallest is the name of the brand. And I didn't set any high hopes for this. But it is horrid. It's really bad. So now on the 4x4, I have the Florian and Constable Shang Sha 4x4 that I modded and lubed myself. So the stickers are horrible. Some of them are not falling off. So I really need to get a new 4x4 because this is, it's a decent 4x4 for a Shang Sha, but it's still pretty bad. Corner cut's about that much for regular. Pretty much none for reverse. On to the next event, 5x5. Five five. I only have one 5x5, five five, and it is the Cyclone Boys. I got it at Nats, brand new from the cubicle, and it is pretty nice. I really like the feel. And sometimes it will get like a freaky lockup, or like a shape-shifting lockup. It can cut about a piece for regular corner cutting, and then it can cut the tiniest bit for reverse. Now on a skew, this is my first skew, the Shang Shao skew. And I took the ball bearings out, and now it's really smooth, and I really like it. Now to my current main, the Moyu. Now my Moyu is super fast and clicky, and I really like it. Now on to square one. My first square one was a cube twist that I modded, but I cannot find it. So my current main is the ch stickerless Chi-Gi. And this thing is amazing, and by far the best on the market. Mega Minx, here is a popped... Diane, it was my main for a while, but the screws on the core are kind of broken, so you can literally pull them out, so it'd pop like crazy. So now I have switched domains to the YJ Yoohoo. 
So for clock, I use a Ling Ang clock, I think, and it's pretty good. I also have a Smart Egg and a Dino Cube the Joe Who Wore Rubik's gave to me, so big thanks to him. His channel will be linked in the description. The timer I use is a QJ, and it's not that good. And the lubes I use are Weight Free and Weight Fry Silicone Lube from the Cubicle. So, so far, my entire cube collection consists of 21 cubes, and hopefully I'll be able to double it by next year. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and see you in 2016.